to begin with a subject that has been topical over the last 12 hours, and it's on the education front, because Parliament's Education Committee is questioning the decision by the West Africa Examinations Council, WIAC, to investigate widespread leakage of exam papers during the 2021 West Africa Senior School Certificate Examination. Ranking member on the committee, Peter Nochu Kotwe, says the committee will hold leadership of the examination body to explain the perennial leakages that rock the body. You know that these comments are coming on the back of reports that two papers at least, the mathematics and business management papers, leaked yesterday. ...in the efforts that are needed to stop or prevent leakages in our examinations. Last, uh, early this year, when we met the uh, YAC at the budget session, we complained about the leakages last year. And they promised us that they will work on it. Now, we suggested to them that uh, whoever they got responsible for these leakages should be made public so that uh, punishment given out, so that the public will know. And that will deter other people from uh, engaging in such uh, malpractices. Mm. But up to today, WIC has not come out with uh, whatever investigations they have come out with or the results. So if they say they are going to investigate again, how sure are we that when they investigate, uh, probably the cause of the leakage is from their end, are they going to be bold enough to let the public know that this is what is happening? Mm. So we are worried about uh, uh, WIC activities these days because uh, uh, his credibility is uh, becoming lower and lower by mm. the day committee to probably uh, hold them before Parliament again? Yes, we are going to do so because we need to protect the integrity of whatever certificates our young ones uh, obtain. So when Parliament re resumes next week, uh, we're going to make the Speaker invite the Minister to the House to brief us on measures that they are taking to stop or prevent leakages of examination questions. Mino Education Think Tank Africa Education Watch has petitioned the Police Criminal Investigations Department to probe the leakages that have characterized the 2021 West Africa Senior School Certificate examinations. Executive Director Kofi Asari says the decision is to get to the bottom of the slippages, even though WAEG describes it merely as a circulation problem. They are not even admitting that it's a leakage. They are saying that it's a mere circulation. They say there's no leakage, it's a mere circulation. In case there's any leakage or any compromise on the system and standards, it is not up to the service provider or the assessment body, which mm. in our case is YEC, to come and admit that I have erred or my systems have failed. No, it is up to the regulated agency whose job it is to enforce standards mm. so, and ensure compliance to say so, and sanction non-compliance. So to the extent that YEC appears to be operating as a monopoly, Exactly. That's why they are telling me that what that's we all going to be seeing, a problem. Exactly. That's why we all are hearing why it tell us that the leakage that we have seen and presented evidence to the CID Director General today over five different papers, four of them being wise papers and one being nothing. If why is saying that all that evidence is fake, then it means that. You know, why will never admit any leakage in this country? And if you don't admit the challenge, it becomes very, very difficult to begin to prefer sustainable solutions. You heard there, Kofi Asara, he's the executive director of Africa Education Watch. Joining me on phone is Sakwesi Kwating, he's public relations officer of the Ministry of Education. Thank you for joining us. Now, it's becoming embarrassing that each year we have reports that come up of leakages when it comes to the WASI, specifically the WASI. Now, what is the view of a ministry as we speak on the latest decision by Africa Education Watch, for example, to petition the CID, another body, to probe the leakages that we have so far? And we have just lost Kwesi Kwating there on the line. We'll be reconnecting with him to understand the view of a ministry on the latest uh, regarding the exam leakages. We know that yesterday at least two papers, according to Africa Education Watch, leaked before the papers were written, which forced the West Africa Examinations Council to reschedule those two papers to a later date to be written. You must also know that WAEC has not admitted that there are leakages. It only describes it as a circulation problem. 
and that has forced Africa Education Watch to head to the CID to present what it says are evidence of at least six papers that have leaked in the last few months to the police CID to probe the matter. Also, Parliament has, you know, waded into this Education Committee of Parliament. You head there, the ranking member, Peter Nochu Koto, he has just said that they are going to haul the Ministry of Education plus the West Africa Examinations Council before Parliament next week when they reconvene to understand exactly what is the cause of the leakages that we're having. Hopefully, Kwesi Kwating is joining us back on the line. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Kwating. Now, I was asking what the view of the Ministry is on the latest with respect to the leakages of papers during the examinations. Hello, Mr. Kwating. Hello, I can hear you faintly. Are you able to hear me? Great. I'm asking what the view of a ministry is with respect to the latest of the exam leakages. EduWatch has just petitioned the CID to prove the matter. What is the view of a ministry on this? If I could hear you, you are asking about our view on the leakages. Precisely, sir. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Very well. Thank you for the opportunity. So, I mean, like I've said on many platforms, I mean, Every system where you have a lot of human interface uh, playing huge role or significant role in that system, clearly you have some of these backlashes. I mean, even if we look at the statement that Wyatt brought yesterday, they themselves admitted that extras of their English paper and uh, I think it's elective mass got, got into the public domain. Uh, even though they qualified that it wasn't extensive, but bottom line is at the end of the day, it compromises the integrity of the exams that was conducted. And so we at the education ministry are looking at uh, reducing the interface, the human interface, that is, that is uh, or less usually responsible for some of these happenings and some of these compromises. And so if you recall, last Monday when the Honorable Dr. Federico went on uh, his, his uh, work center visit, he made a very profound recommendation that we got in touch with Wayek and we feel that maybe within the shortest possible time we should be considering implementing it. Okay. And that is with regards to the serialization that he spoke about. What it means is that if at the end of the day, I mean, you have, let's say, hypothetically, 100 or 200 students writing an exam, it is possible that you have about 20 different set of questions. And so you have a 20 different set of questions, the motivation to even lead the questions or, or, or not even exist. But at the end, okay. students may not even know the kind of questions that they are going to assign even in the first place. That is in the short term. But in the long term, as we develop the capacity, as we develop, as we are able to gather the resources as a country, I mean, we can model what the advanced countries are also doing. The electronic testing where you log in into the system, your bio data is verified at every moment, the screen recording, I mean, um, you yourself, uh, there is a recorder on you, and you are unable to, to, to really uh, do any or conduct any more practices. Mm. These are all some of the interventions that the education industry is looking at. Okay. Uh, but then, I mean, in the short term, we, we believe that serialization will be able to solve these this, this problems. Uh, uh, and Mr. Quatton, before oh. I let you go, you know, I, I remember many years ago, almost 10 years ago, when I was writing exams, this issue of leakages was still a big issue at the time. Ten years down the line, we're still having to talk about leakages can you, can when you it comes to you know, the line wasn't, can you, can you Yes, I'm saying that this issue of leakages is not new. It's been there since time immemorial. So the question is, is the education ministry and why unable to deal with it for which reason, for example, you may consider a change in the systems of writing exams, that is the West Africa Senior School Certificate Examination. Okay, so I'll answer your question from the wider scope and the wider context. I mean, generally, even if you look at the educational landscape, certainly the challenges or the problems that are confronted with education is not a year old, it's not a five year old challenge or it's not a ten year old challenge. It's been reoccurring. And I always say that the solution to most of these challenges has never been an event. I mean, whilst you look at the challenges, there have also been some successes. And then uh, you look at it uh, from the perspective that, yes, we have a challenge. And at the end of the day, somebody needs to or ought to take a decision to solve it. The truth is that we are unable to, 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 to solve the challenge just in a day. I mean, if you look at the structure of why, for instance, I mean, since 1952, when it came into existence, they were not operating like this. There has been some development, there has been some corrections, there has been some reforms. And so if there is a need that as a ministry, as a body, 
as stakeholders, we need to introduce a system that will be able to keep, or if not even eliminate, eliminate entirely, will be able to reduce. I mean, some of these more practices that we have in our exams. Why not? It's a conversation that we will have. But I think the debate or the, the conversation should not be about how the problem is. But I think it should be progressive. It should be looking for it. It should be forward looking, and 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 it should be more centered on what are we doing to address it. Thank you very much, Kwesi Kwata.